Welcome to another new video. Today, we're jumping straight into the demo of our final app. This comes after setting up ComfyUI with default 1 2.5 template on RunPod, creating a serverless API. Before we dive in, use my RunPod referral link to grab a one time credit from 5 bucks up to 500. And it's a cool way to support me too. All the info and download links are right in the YouTube description and also on our website, totally free. Make sure to check those out and grab all the codes and files so you can follow along easily without missing anything. Now, let's go ahead and create a network storage so we can test the required workflow. We'll also download the necessary models right into our pods. Later on, this same setup will be super handy when we switch things over to serverless. All right, now we'll create pods to download all the required models and grab the API workflow for building our serverless app. Don't worry, all the codes are already provided, including the app. So later, it's mostly just adding your API key and running everything. In pods, select the network storage we just created. For the template, search for and pick Comfy UI Manager Permanent Disk. Torch 2.4, then click on Deploy On Demand. After that, check the logs to see what's happening. Once it says Pod Ready to Use, you're good to move on to the next step. Next, open JupyterLab and head over to the terminal. Type dot slash run underscore GPU dot sh and just follow along. All the commands are already given in the worker file. Just copy paste, and wait for it to finish running. Next, open Comfy UI on port 8188. It'll open the interface. Click on Template, then go to Video, and choose WAN 2.214B Text to Video. It might say some models are missing, but don't worry. We just need to download the missing models into the correct folders. Open the worker file. It has all the details on which models to download and exactly where to place them. All right, go back to JupyterLab and navigate to the Comfy UI folder. Then open the Models folder. This is where we'll download all the required models listed in the worker file. Make sure to download them one by one as shown. Before you start, double check that your Hugging Face token is updated with your API key. Because if it's not, the downloads will fail. Just follow the worker file carefully, and you'll have all the models in the right place, ready to go for the workflow. Now, go back to Comfy UI and refresh the page. You might see some errors. Don't worry, that's just because some of the models we downloaded have slightly different names. Simply click on the model dropdown and select the correct one. Once that's done, hit Run to generate your first video and test it out. You can also play around with the settings if you want to tweak how it looks. This is your first look at everything coming together. Now that's done. We'd normally clear any unnecessary nodes that aren't required and download the workflow and API. But don't worry, you don't have to do that yourself because I've already done it and prepared the files for you. So you can just skip this step and move on. This saves time and keeps everything neat and ready for the next part of the setup. All right, now that we're done, we don't actually need the pods anymore. But before stopping them, we need to move the models folder from Comfy UI to the workspace. If we don't do this, the serverless setup won't have access to the models it needs. Open the helper file and copy the code provided to move the folder correctly and move any other folders that aren't required. This keeps everything clean and ensures the serverless app will run smoothly later on. Once that's done, you're good to safely stop the pods and move to the next step. Now, Let's start setting up the serverless app. First, make sure you've uploaded the serverless file to GitHub and that RunPod is connected to your GitHub account in the settings. From the New Endpoint section, choose the correct serverless file, then pick your GPU. Next, add your Hugging Face token in the environment variables. This is important so the endpoint can access the models. Once everything is set, just click Deploy Endpoint. Sit back for a moment while it deploys 
and you'll have your serverless set up ready to go. Next, open Postman and upload the provided Postman template. Click on the Comfy UI Run Pod serverless collection, then go to the Variables tab. Here, you'll need to update two things with your correct API keys. First, the serverless ID, and second, your RunPod API key. Make sure both are entered correctly so everything can connect and run smoothly. Once that's done, you're ready to start sending requests and testing your serverless workflow. Oops, I almost forgot one important thing in our serverless setup, connecting it to the network drive. Don't worry, it's easy. Go back, click on Manage, and then Edit Endpoint. Scroll down and click on Advanced. In Network Volume, choose the correct volume where you downloaded all the models. After that, you might see a GPU not compatible message. If so, just switch to a different GPU and you're good to go. Next, we need to add two more environment variables. Check the helper file for details. One is comfy slash polling max retrieves, and the other is comfy polling interval mess. Make sure to add both, because without them, video generation won't work properly. Unlike images, videos take longer to generate, and if these aren't set, you'll just get errors. So don't skip this step. Before moving on, make sure the rollout progress is fully finished. If it's not complete, don't proceed. Otherwise, things might not work correctly. All right, open the Postman. We set up earlier. Then, open the provided WANAPI Postman file. Copy the code from there and paste it into the post run async section in the body. Once that's done, click Send. You'll get an ID in the response. Make sure to copy that, because we'll need it for the next steps in generating your video. Next, Go to the Get Status page and paste the ID you copied. Then click Send. You'll see updates showing either progress or errors. If everything's done correctly up to this point, with no missing steps or model name changes, you'll get the output in Base64. In our case, we get the output ready to use. For video generation and based on URGPU, it can take several minutes to generate. Once you get the output, Copy the base 64 code and clean it up. Open it in Notepad and make sure to keep only the base 64 content. Remove everything else. This step is important so the file can be properly decoded and used later without any issues. Next, copy the cleaned base 64 code and open the code file in your editor. You'll see a file called base64.txt. Paste the code there. I also created a converter called base64 to video. To run it, type the command python base64 underscore to video64.txt. Once it runs, you'll see the video saved successfully. Open it, and voila, you can see your generated and converted video. This step is important because with the serverless setup, you don't get a direct video. You need to convert it from base64 first. All right. Now for the final part. We'll use our web app to test everything out. You can use this app as an example of how to integrate the serverless API for video generation and build your own projects. First, update the .env file with your API keys, just like we did in Postman. Make sure your environment is set up correctly before running the app. Next, let's run the app by typing pythonapp.py. Once it starts, open the link shown in your terminal. That'll take you straight to the web UI where you can see everything in action. All right, let's generate a video. I'm going to keep everything at the default settings, but you can totally play around with the prompt and tweak the settings however you like. Then just click on generate. You can also go to run pod serverless and click on request to check if it's working. If you don't see any requests there, that means there's an error somewhere in your setup. So double check everything. After a few minutes, depending on your GPU speed, you'll see the results just like on my screen. That means everything's working perfectly. You can even customize or improve this app further or use it as a base to build your own video generation app. If you need any help or have suggestions for future videos, feel free to drop a comment below. 
I'd love to hear from you. I'm also open for work. AI or non-AI. Simple or complex projects. Anything you can think of. You can reach me anytime through the email in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.